Justice M. A. Oyetenu of the Federal High Court in Oyo, Akwaibom State, convicted a two sen Stephen Fonaira abuse after a plea he pleaded guilty to charges of selling and spraying narrowness. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission arraigned him for violating Section 21 of the Central Bank of Nigeria Act. The court ordered the feature of the four. 40,000 recovered from him to the federal government. Stephen was arrested on June 27, 2024, along with 10 others at a party where he was seen spraying and staping on narrow notes. Okay, um, the central bank have sent us warning. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission have equally issued this one that the EFCC has uh, stepping on money spraying it rough handling it is an abuse of naira and uh whosoever that is caught will be go to six months six years imprisonment or pay a fine of five hundred thousand or better still do the books and it's quite unfortunate that some nigerians still remain adamant to this even as we're talking about this a lot of persons are still spraying money in the name of they're not seeing me some of them will tell you that uh after all is uh it's not up to one million that is spread and all, all of those so now what do you think uh, about what efcc uh have done do you think that they are actually working so hard to make sure that this comes to an end and despite all the arrests because we have some celebrities that are behind the bars but some of them are still spraying money what do you think well um one of the things we do in this society watch uh, which you 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 read all the time for emphasis is to prefer solutions mm. uh, and i'm conscious of that the reason why i'm saying this as a preamble is because it's already a law otherwise i would have even asked myself um, what is the crime what is criminal about spraying the naira mm. yeah uh, now this is not to challenge the law because it's already passed but it's to reason because i'm i am an academic and i'm trying to engage the issue you know intellectually nigerians by our culture and background we are celebrative and ostentatious we display a lot that's why you have a lot of cultural dances it's like telling dancers, please don't shake your body so much. How can it work? So because of our celebrative context, our ostentatious con context, our, our, our liking of display, it's difficult to truly stop this issue of don't spray the Naira. Well, unfortunately, the man was caught, but there are others who are not caught. And so they can't, they, if they check and nobody to catch them, they go ahead and try because it is inside us. L let us not, let us rather face things that are really criminal. A lot of things are going wrong in the country by the leaders that are truly criminal and they are not criminalized. But you go and criminalize somebody who does like this in a celebrative mood. I, 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 I don't understand. However, solution, there is a law. Please don't spread the Naira. Okay, so uh, Dr. Okochi, if you are questioning what is wrong with uh, spraying Naira mm. notes, will you also question what's wrong with selling Naira notes? Who led, who is leading us into selling Naira notes? And why are Nigerians selling Naira notes? Exactly. Who, who, who is causing it? Which other countries do you see money is being sold? The other day, sorry to digress, the other day when uh, CBN was trying to do this uh, problem of uh, recoloring the Naira, they say it's changed, but it's recoloring because it's just a matter of color. Naira became so scarce that I saw, I saw a picture, a cartoon. A child was, it's a lesson, a child was crying, Mommy, I'm hungry. And the, and the mother turned to the child and said, Baby, let's go and buy Naira, then buy food. Who cost it? Who cost it? When you have policies, when you have government policies that strangulate the country, 
and people are led into trouble. You look for the source, not uh, the, the, the person who is merely displaying the problem. No. You, you, you see, that's why I keep, I keep saying that. We sometimes keep on clearing cobwebs without killing the spider. The cobwebs will continue. So who is the spider here? The spider is the government. The government. Who else will be the spider in this contest now? The government is the reason why people are selling narrow notes? The government's policies are draconian. Uh, are the and they create the conditions for atrocities. Which other country sells their currency as, as a ware? The way you sell Gary Granot. Which other country does that? But when we are talking about corruption, corruption is, is not something that is meant for only Nigerians. Or we won't say corruption is something that only Rumokuru people do. This is something that is all over the world. And what you are saying is because of the government. And why are other people, or, or which other country do you see selling money? And of course you know that. The kind of issues that Nigerians are into now, there are, there's every tendency that other countries are equally facing one or two. It might not be exactly what it is. But they might not be selling there. So if other, different people face different problems. So if Nigerians are facing another phase of problems, and then people started selling Naira notes, and you're saying you're blaming government, what has the government has to do with people selling Naira notes? I have just explained. It is the government policy that is strangulating the country. And that's why money is scarce. So people have to buy. You know, one of the principles of, econo of economics is that, you see, you cannot have demand if there is no supply. And you cannot have an economic situation if in a vacuum. You, have, you first of all must create a scarcity before you talk of buying. So government creates scarcity and then it generates, it triggers the attitude of looking for it because it's scarce. Make the Naira available. It will not be sold. So are you saying that the government did this on purpose so that people will keep going to the correctional facilities that is already congested? It's, 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 it's a circle. It's a circle. One thing leads to the other. Let us begin with the source. Government, please, do not allow the Naira to be scarce so that we do not create conditions to search for it and end up buying and end up selling. That's my recommendation. So you say that's the solution to the problem? Sure, that's because that's solution. what other nations are doing. Why is Nigeria different from over 200 nations? One, one nation keeps having one issue. At this, we have not been able to solve the problem of the Naira. Before you know it now, people have to queue in banks. Recently, you queue in a bank, and they tell you the, the maximum is 5,000. How can you give a man of, you know, with his wife, four children, you say the minimum, sorry, the maximum I can give you is 5,000 Naira. Those are the kind of things that, uh, that are nauseating to hear. Go to other countries. You want to withdraw, you withdraw your money because it's your money. But here they tell you, you may have 100,000 Naira in your account. They tell you, no, we cannot give you beyond 20,000. What is that? Okay, so like I said before, that? like I said before that uh, uh, some celebrities are already behind the bar. Some mm. um, have a case to uh, defend. And then, uh, despite the EFCC effort, so many persons are still doing this, which one has, um, Sienu Udim yes. has been mm. arrested, mm. and some other persons are still doing this. Do you think that the EFCC are not doing the, um, using the appropriate measures to be able to make people stop this? Because it's more like, of course, a lot of persons know that uh, spraying money, stamping on it, rough handling, dancing, selling it, uh, can attract um, six years imprisonment, but despite the punishment, despite the consequences, people tend to damn the consequences and do what they are not ought to do, what is in law mm. that they shouldn't do. So do you think they're not doing enough? Or if yes, what should they do to be able to make Nigerians so consciously be it in an open or in the secret and know that this thing they want, I'm about doing is wrong? So I think... I shouldn't do it, not necessarily because it's a law, but because I know that this is wrong. You know, you know I, 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 addressed, um, I, I addressed this um, earlier. I said, first of all, why have we criminalized a celebrative attitude? It's, it's part of our celebrative culture. Why are we criminalizing it when there are bigger crimes? But number two, I said that since it is already a law, Nigerians, please be careful. Otherwise, I still argue that it is part of celebration. Unless somebody is burning the Naira, tearing the Naira, then you can say, okay, he's abusing the Naira. But 
uh, Emma has a, a child dedication, and I come, and I'm celebrating my sister. Please, please. And then you come and arrest me. Uh, Dr. Okoshi. I, I don't understand. Um, of course, you had dollar before, right? Mm -hmm. And you equally seen Naira is our currency. Mm. Have you seen some kind Naira notes that will be given to you and you tell the driver, oh, server that is giving you, I can't take this one. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen where dollar is being so, so bad that in a bastard that you're like, I can't take this one? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen something like that? No, yeah. Okay, you have never seen, you have never rejected a naira note before. Uh, well, it's, you, you see a lot of dirty torn naira notes. Yeah. I, don't I, think I, I understand it, what you are saying. Don't you think it's the way people are rough handle it? Yes, those ones are, are abused. It's, 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 but, but you see, it's a completely different thing from I'm celebrating you. That's what I'm trying to say. Why criminalize that? All right. Yes. Okay, the next story is from Under States.